Hello guys, it's Jeff Feller. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be taking a look at Parabellum Bricks' new uh, Brit Boys. Um, but before we get into this video, just uh, just some administration here. I, well, I, I am almost done with this semester. Literally uh, in the hour after I finish this, finish filming this video, um, I will take my last final, and it's online, it's, and it's open notes, so it's pretty much a complete joke. But yesterday, I had two, like, brutal finals, um, but I did them. I know I passed one, because it was already, already graded. The other one, not graded yet, but I still feel really good about it, and my grade is fine in that class, so I'm pretty much, um, I'm assuming I passed, um. But yeah, I'm effectively done with school now, so I'm gonna <laughs> finally, like, get more content out, because I do like making content. Um, and hopefully the next video I make will be uh, this huge, like, it's not gonna be like a ramble video, because the whole thing is scripted. Uh, I'm writing a script for it right now. I'm gonna put a lot of editing into it. I'm actually gonna put some effort into it, basically. Um... And spoiler alert, but the theme is, like, just my experiences about the LEGO military community, um, which will be pretty interesting to hear. Um, but yeah, that's going to be coming up. And then after that, hopefully I want to get back into doing a stop motion. And I want to do something uh, not super long, but something with, with reasonable length where I can really make it, like, as high quality as possible. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's just get straight into this. Um, so these are the Brit Boys from, from Parabellum Bricks. They just had this release. And, oh my gosh, let's go. Um, here we go, here's everything. And, uh... Oh, if you hear that, that's that's my desktop. <laughs> don't don't check your Discord. That, that's mine. Um, yeah, I'll be right back, and I'm gonna take these guys out of the bag. All right, welcome back. So here's everything laid out. Um, you get your obligatory uh, sticker and card with all their socials on the back. Pretty cool. Then I got some freebies which is like some sci-fi stuff that I will probably never use in my life, um, which is fine. Uh, but first up here, um, oh yeah, I got some like Brick Arms uh, clips. Um, but yeah, first up here, let's just check out the regular uh, Rifleman. Um, this guy is pretty, I mean... To be honest, not much to say about this, uh, but what I can say is that it's just really clean. It's really solid. Um, I think uh, it's pretty good, actually. Um, but it's pretty bog standard compared to the rest of the British Rifleman figs that are out there. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Of course, there's 360-degree leg printing, um, and I got two of these guys just for just for army building. So we will set that aside. Next up here is basically the same guy, uh, but with a gas mask. Um, and this leaves this guy to be pretty period specific. Uh, you would only use this in like basically uh, the 1940 campaign. You could also use them in the, uh, in the phony war before that. Um, but that's when British troops would be uh, regularly equipped with gas masks. Um, but after that campaign, and when it was clear that no one was going to use uh, chemical weapons, they just kind of dropped the gas mask uh, from the kit. So you can really only use this guy for the for the early war, but pretty cool to see to see it nonetheless. Now next up here, this one is probably like. One of my favorites of this release, there's like three, or there's like kind of four really cool bodies of this release. So this guy is obviously a medic, uh, but what's really cool is that he just has the bag hanging on the front like that. Um, and he also has a really nice 
360 degree uh, armband printing. That's like literally perfect. What the heck? And usually it's like kind of difficult to pull this off with the alignment and stuff. Um, but this one looks really good. This is definitely one of the best, if not the best, uh, regular British medics out there. Um, yeah, really cool. Really like that. Next up here is just your regular rifleman again, but he has a bandolier strung, ac strung across him. Um, and other than that, nothing, you know, nothing, uh, really specific to mention there, uh, but pretty cool nonetheless. Next up here is a Lewis Gunner. Now, I don't really know what to say about this. Um, I know the Brits uh, use the Bren gun, and when they use the Bren gun, they would use their standard pouches. Um, but I don't know really how much they employ the Lewis gun in actual combat. Uh, but nonetheless, it is pretty cool to see this guy. Um, I will have to do some research to see, like, how much I can use this. Um, I'm betting it's mostly an early war thing, but... Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Um, it's pretty awesome. Next up here, this is, like, my second most favorite body of the release. Uh, this is a British officer. And this guy just looks really really clean um to be honest uh he's got the the rank there i believe that's the rank of sergeant um which i don't think is an officer i think that's like a, a non-com um feel free to correct me in the comments um but yeah it looks really good um yeah really like it it's pretty awesome next up here so this one is really unique actually this is like the first time we're kind of seeing this well i think we already saw this from Brickmania, um but this is basically like just a british uh crew body um he has a belt but he has no gear so you can use this guy as like a driver or a crewman on an at gun or or just chilling or a pow or something um but yeah, you can use this guy for a lot of various smaller roles. Um, but yeah, really cool. We don't really see this that often. And kind of wish I got a second one, but I'm sure I'll get another, another one on their next release. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. And then second to last here, this is uh, their tanker. Uh, looks pretty similar to... The crew body, but this is for the infantry uniform. This guy specifically has a tanker uniform. And nothing really too much to say about this. It is cool, but... Um, yeah. Uh, British tankers. And then... Uh, the last body here, and this is a fig. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is a uh, brow boy. Uh, this is Joe Atkins. Uh, allegedly, this guy uh, killed Michael Vittman. Um, allegedly, uh, we don't really know. We don't really have it one hundred percent confirmed. Uh, there is like a, I think a Canadian guy who claimed to kill Michael Vittman with a Piat. Um, but what we do know for sure is that Joe definitely took out multiple tigers on one day. Um, yeah, really cool. He's got like uh, unit specific markings and stuff and the beret that he was wearing in a picture. Uh, so yeah, it's really super cool. And also, what I think would be really cool is... Let me get it right here. Um... Yeah, you got the, the two boys here. So you got the dragon and the dragon slayer. But yeah, um, it's really cool. I think displaying these two guys uh, will be super cool. Um, and Michael Vittman, you know, people, especially in this community and on the internet in general, they tend to uh, kind of treat this guy like a pseudo god basically which is 
really weird. Um, there's a really good video out there by, I forget who, but he basically explained that um, Vittman's career was basically pretty lucky. Um, Vittman had the right aggression, which was, you know, being aggressive can be dangerous, um, but it can have huge payoffs, uh, like catching the enemy off guard and then you can destroy a bunch of their shit, but, um, yeah, I think Vitman is a, is a bit over, overrated, to be honest, um, a bit celebrated a bit too much, um, but it's really cool that we finally have, uh, the heart, the harbinger of justice here. Uh, with one one brown man, so yeah, I think I'll display these guys together. Um, looks really cool, and also what's really cool is a firefly. I'll just bring it up here. So there's a uh, here's Joe and his and his toy. This is not the specific firefly that he that he used. Um, but if you want a Firefly, Parabellum Bricks is selling one at a 145th scale. And it does have the uh, accurate markings to what Joe used. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to display Joe with the Firefly. Um, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff coming this summer. Um, and yeah, anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.